Pre-trip inspection is everything you must inspect on the vehicle to ensure that it is safe to operate on the road. The inspection will consist of five separate sections, including the engine compartment, the side and the back of the tractor, the connections between the tractor and trailer, the in-cab inspection, and the air brake test. The tester will want to hear a couple descriptions for every item you are inspecting. All items that are metal or plastic, no BBC, not bent, broken, or cracked. All items that are made out of rubber, no ABC, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And everything must be securely mounted. The pre-trip should be performed the same way, in the same order, every time. Inspect each section beginning from front to back, top to bottom, and inside to out. Point to or touch every item you inspect. By doing it this way, you will be able to ensure that no components are missed during your inspection. The constant repetition of the pre-trip inspection, as we presented here, will help you memorize the complete process for making sure that your truck is ready for service every day. The first part of our inspection consists of a walk-up or an overview of the truck. All of our clearance lights are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and of the proper color, red in the back and amber and orange everywhere else. Both of our headlights are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and working properly. The truck is not leaning in any direction, which can indicate a suspension problem or a load problem, and the truck does not seem to be leaking anything underneath. The left side of our engine consists of our water pump, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware. Our water pump is belt driven. The belt is not ripped, torn, or frayed anywhere and has a minimum of one half to three quarter inch of free play in it. Also on the left hand side of our engine we have our coolant reservoir, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware at the proper level and doesn't seem to be any visual leaks. Our radiator hose, top and bottom, securely mounted. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the radiator hose, and it does not seem to be any visual leaks. Moving to the other side of our engine compartment, we have our alternator, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware. Our alternator is belt driven. There's no more than one half to three quarter inch of free play in our belt, and our belt does not appear to be ripped or frayed. We have our air compressor, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. I don't hear any audible leaks, and our air compressor is gear driven. We still have two more fluids to discuss. We have our power steering reservoir, securely mounted, not missing any hardware, does not appear to be any leaks anywhere. This is the dipstick where I would check the level, and this is the fill port where I would fill it if it needed any fluid. This is our engine oil fill. This is our dipstick to check our engine oil. Both are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and it does not appear to be anything leaking. Our steering components consist of a steering shaft, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and there's no excessive play in our steering shaft. We also have our U-joint, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware, and properly lubricated. We have our steering gearbox, securely mounted on top and bottom, not missing any hardware, does not appear to be any visual leaks. We also have a pitman arm, a drag link, and an upper control arm, all securely mounted by two castle nuts and not bent, broken, and cracked. Our suspension components consist of a spring hanger, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware, a single leaf spring, not bent, broken, or cracked, secured by two U bolts, not bent, broken, or cracked. Securely mounted, not missing any hardware. There's also a shock absorber, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Does not appear to be leaking anywhere. We have an airbag securely mounted on top and bottom. The bag itself, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and does not appear to be any audible leaks. My brake components consist of a single brake chamber, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any hardware, no audible leaks. My brake air lines, securely mounted, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no audible leaks. I got my calipers, my rotors, and my pads, all securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. 
My rotors should not have any bluing or warping in them. And our pads should have a minimum of one quarter inch of material. The wheel itself securely mounted, no extra holes or welds drilled in the wheel. The inside of my wheel is securely seated to the inside of my tire. The inside of my tire, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no audible leaks. The surface of my tire is wore evenly with a minimum of 4 30 seconds of an inch of tread depth. The outside of my tire is securely seated to the outside of my wheel. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts in the outside of my wheel and no audible leaks. The wheel itself has no extra holes or welds drilled in the wheel. All of my lug nuts are securely mounted. Not, not bent, broken, or cracked. There's no rust trails would indicate a loose lug nut. My hub seal is securely mounted. Not bent, broken, or cracked. No visual leaks. My valve stem securely mounted and I've been broken or cracked. That's where I would check the inflation of the tire and that's where I would inflate the tire. Now that we've finished our engine compartment, we'll start with the side of our tractor. Both of our mirrors securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware. Our door latch securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and working properly. Both of our door hinges securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. The door does not seem to be sagging anywhere. Our weather stripping, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts in our weather stripping. Both of our steps securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Nothing on there that would cause me to trip and fall. Our left side turn signal securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Another proper color, amber. Our catwalk and catwalk steps securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Nothing on there that would cause me to trip and fall. Our fuel tank securely mounted by two fuel tank straps. They're not missing any hardware. The fuel tank does not seem to be leaking anywhere. The fuel cap itself has a safety chain and rubber seal intact. Our frame, no extra holes or welds on our frame and everything is mounted to the frame. We have our exhaust, not bent, broken or cracked and doesn't appear to be any rust holes. We have our drive shaft securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not this any hardware. Our U-joint securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly lubricated, and there's nothing obstructing its rotation. Mud flap bracket and mud flap securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and other proper clearance from the ground. Our taillights on our tractor securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and other proper color, red. Our suspension components consist of a leaf spring hanger, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware. Two leaf springs, not bent, broken, or cracked, and not scissored, fastened by two U-bolts, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, also not missing any hardware. Also, we have a shock absorber, securely mounted on top and bottom. Not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware, and there's not to be any, does not appear to be any visual leaks. We also have an airbag securely mounted on top and bottom. And the airbag itself, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and I don't hear any audible leaks. Our brake components consist of a brake chamber, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware, and no audible leaks. Two brake airlines coming in, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no audible leaks. We have our caliper, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any hardware. We have our rotor behind the shroud, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. There's no warping or bluing on our rotor. Also our pads, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and a minimum of one quarter inch of material. The inside of our wheel, securely mounted. There's no extra holes or welds on the inside of our wheel. The inside of our wheel is securely seated to the inside of our tire. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts in the inside of our tire. The surface of our tire is worn evenly and has a minimum of 2 30 seconds of an inch of tread depth. The outside of my tire, securely seated to the outside of my rim. The rim itself, securely mounted, no extra holes or welds drilled in the rim. All of my lug nuts, securely mounted. There's no rust trails from my lug nuts that would, have, that would have indicate some sort of a loose lug nut. My hub seal, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, does not appear to be leaking anywhere. My valve stem, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, cracked. That's where I would check the tire pressure, and that's where I would inflate the tire.
Now the connections to the trailer. My air lines. Securely mounted to the trailer. Securely mounted to the tractor. Secured to the trailer with the glad hands. My electrical line. Securely mounted to the tractor with the safety latch. Securely mounted to the trailer with the safety latch. Both of my air lines, both my service line and my emergency line. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. I don't hear any audible leaks. My electrical line, not ripped, torn, or frayed, no exposed wire. And all three lines have proper clearance from the catwalk. Trailer apron, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. My release handle is on the fifth wheel, is in a locked position. My fifth wheel, there's no light between my apron and my fifth wheel. My pivot pin, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. My fifth wheel, securely mounted to the skid plate, and the skid plate is securely mounted to the frame. My kingpin, securely mounted to the trailer, and the kingpin is securely locked inside the thrower to the fifth wheel. We're now gonna do our trailer inspection. Front and side of my trailer, nothing's bent, broken, or cracked, no damages, and all the rivets are in place. The top of my trailer, clearance light, all securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Another proper color, amber. My marker lights, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. Another proper color, amber on the side, and red in the back. My trailer has a minimum 50% DOT tape on the side. Trailer cross members securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, no damage. The trailer floor itself, no damage, not bent, broken, or cracked, and no holes. Clearance between my mud flap bracket on my tractor and my landing gear is sufficient. My landing gear assembly, not bent, broken, or cracked, working properly. The crank handle for my landing gear assembly is in the stowaway position. My fuel tank, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, no damage, and no leaks. My turn signal, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and no damage, another proper color. My trailer air lines, securely mounted, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. I don't hear any audible leaks, and it's a uh, proper clearance from the ground. My trailer slide track, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and the locking pins are in the locked position. My mud flap bracket and mud flap securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and my mud flap has proper clearance from the ground. My trailer ABS indicator light, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, another proper color, amber. All my clearance lights, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, another proper color, red. My door panel itself, not bent, broken, or cracked, no damage. The rubber seal around my door, not ripped, torn, or frayed. My tail lights, not bent, broken, or cracked, securely mounted, and of the proper color, red. My door latch itself, not bent, broken, or cracked, and working properly. And the back of my trailer has 100% DOT tape. Suspension components, trailing arm mount, trailing arm. Both securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, not loose any hardware. Shock absorber, securely mounted on top and bottom, not bent, broken, or cracked, and does not appear to be leaking. Airbag, securely mounted on top and bottom, not bent, broken, or cracked. The bag itself, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and there's no audible leaks. My brake chamber, not bent, broken, or cracked, securely mounted, no audible leaks. My airline, securely mounted, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no audible leaks. My calipers, my rotors, and my pads, all securely mounted, 
not bent, broken, or cracked. My rotors, there's no bluing or warping, and my pads have a minimum of a quarter inch of material. The inside of my wheel, no extra holds or welds. The inside of my wheel, securely seated to the inside of my tire. The inside of my tire, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Surface of the tire, evenly worn, minimum two thirty seconds inch of tread depth, and no audible leaks. Outside of my tire, securely seated to the outside of my rim. The outside of my tire, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no audible leaks. The rim itself, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and there's no extra holes or wells drilled in it. All my lug nuts are securely mounted, and there's no rust trails, which would indicate a loose lug nut. My hub seal, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and no visual leaks. My auto inflator, securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and there's no abrasions or bulges or cuts in the airline, and I don't hear any audible leaks. My five safety items, seatbelt, not ripped, torn, or frayed, locks and unlocks, my fire extinguisher is securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and rated for the load, my reflective triangle securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, another proper collar, my city horn, my air horn, work properly and I have spare fuses if I should need them. Both my mirrors securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked and adjusted to me. My windshield securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked and there's no illegal stickers that would obstruct my vision. Both of my wipers and wiper blades are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. I'll now turn my key on. I'm going to check my wipers and wiper washers. Wipers and wiper washers are all working properly. I'm going to check my heat, defro or defroster. Pulling warm air. And then my heater. All working properly. I'll now check my indicator lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, high beam indicator. Now I'll perform a safe start. My ABS light battery light. Both went on and off indicating that they're working properly. Oil pressure, water temperature, all up to operating level. My primary and my secondary air gauges, all up to proper operating level. I'll now perform my air brake test. The first test I will do, I'll test the park brake on the tractor by releasing the trailer brake, putting the truck in drive, building a short tug on the, on the truck. I'll now perform my trailer park brake test by applying the trailer brakes, releasing the tractor brake, putting the truck in drive. I'll now perform my service brake test by releasing the brakes, putting the truck in drive, driving forward a few feet and applying the service brake. Service brakes working properly. At this point, I will just turn the engine off, turn the key on. I will now perform my air leakage test by holding my foot on the service pedal the air pressure should not drop more than four pounds per square inch in one minute. 5960. At this point, I will perform my a pump down test to check my low air warning light. My low air warning light should come on at 60 psi.
as it pumped the brakes down. <laughs> is now on I will continue to pump my brakes till the air pressure drops between 40 to 20 psi and my spring brake should pop out <laughs> I'll now do a safe start I'll now perform my air compressor test. I will hold my foot on the accelerator. I will bring my RPMs up between 10 and 1500 and hold it. And once my air pressure gets up to 85 psi, it should not take any more than 45 seconds to get to 100. Once my air pressure gets between 120 to 140 psi, my air governor should spin. That completes my pre-trip inspection.